Hey YouTubers, it's me, Lonnie Clark. Um, I just did a video with my mask on for quite a long time. I'm going to chop it up a little bit. There's some things in there I'm going to edit. But I wanted to thank you for coming to our channel and to sharing my channel with your friends and recommending me because um, I really do believe that we all benefit when we're all being in communication with each other. So I'm grateful that my friend Carol has hit 2 million views. She's been doing this since I think 6 or 7 years, uh, which is awesome. I mean, she's got like several thousand. Kevin Blanche has 20,000. Dana Durnford has 20,000. Um, Ackerman, I think, has several thousand people. I have a few hundred people, which is really awesome. I'm really grateful for the people that watch my channel. I hope you click the notifications because I am going to be being more active. I'm going to finish, uh, well, not finish. I'm going to do another reading on this thing. But I think I'm actually going to start a, a newspaper article that uh, Carl Grossman wrote. It's a two or three page article he wrote for Counterpunch. He gave me permission to read it. I'm also going to read an article by Dave Ratliff, uh, who has the rights to John Goffman's work. Uh, he did a really awesome article that not many people saw, so I'm going to read that. I could post it, but actually I think it helps people to hear it read. It's about money, 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 money. Whatever they're at, whatever level, it's not good enough getting it more, 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 more. Which is why we're all told it's okay for us to approve of a health care plan where the uh, CEO of the health care plan gets like 12 million, 2 million, 3 million. Like, fuck, a million dollars is too much. I want to do another video. And the reason I want to talk more is that I know there is so much anxiety out there. And on the other hand, there's a lot of elation. There's people like, oh, you lived hard. You don't understand. Uh, we are going to understand, folks. This is the issue. There was a reason Bush was told to take civics out of high school education. Because when people do not understand their rights when they do not understand what government functions for, then they don't understand that gutting government safety nets harms everybody. In Portland, we had five people die in the last few weeks. We had a brand new baby, brand new baby born to a woman who didn't have a home, who was out on the street at a bus stop, gave birth, and the baby died of exposure. And when the somebody came to help her, when they saw her having a baby, they called 911. By the time they got there, the baby was dead because the baby died of exposure because it was born in the middle of fucking snowmopolis for us. We are not used to this bullshit snow. And frankly, I'm not even sure it's real snow. I was looking at it. It looks like geoengineered aluminum snow. But I don't know what snow looks like because I'm from California. <laughs> so I'm going to say it's snow, and I, but I'm not going to ingest it. That's my deal. Look, we had a baby killed in Portland this last week, an infant. It means nothing. It's insignificant in the amount of infant deaths on this planet. Women in Africa are used to their babies dying. They are raped. Women in Africa are being used and maligned and horrendously. Oh my God. And they are fucking magnificent teachers. Like, let's be clear. <sighs> the white-itis is a fucking illness. Because the women in Africa are being abused at a very core level by the Western culture. They're getting raped, yes, by black men. Uh, you know what? This is an interesting thing. Older women in Africa are being raped now because they're considered not to be promiscuous. So, and they're also, the reason they like them 
is because they're afraid to get HIV. And you know why? Because George Bush cut off the funding to help people get HIV medicine, HIV prevention information, to teach people about how to not get HIV, to get the testing, because testing is key. If people who get tested are isolated and understand what they're doing, almost across the board, people take it seriously. And if you have the services, reasonable people will take advantage of it, even unreasonable people. This is what neoliberal ideas bring us. This is why what we have seen develop in the last month and a half since November is off the charts like we've got to get off our asses. This is bullshit. I want my grandchildren to survive. I want your grandchildren to survive. And in fact, I really love everybody on this YouTube community. Like, even the fucking haters. Like, they're kind of dumb. Like, they think we're going to be like, oh, yeah, we feel bad because you call us blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know what? This is the thing. Talk to the women who are living next door to the airport in St. Louis. Ask them what it feels like to bury their children or their husband or their brother or their sister. Ask the men what it feels like to bury their wives and watch their wives die of very slow cancer. That is what nuclear pollution does, folks. And we have led a community down in St. Louis that is very did, did not deserve it. Like Larry Bergen and, and frankly, Niagara Falls. That's another sister city in Hanford. Like all these people we have let down. Frankly, Carlsbad, where Carlsbad is, where the WIPP is, where the fucking government just pounded these people in the face and said, you're taking it. You take our money or you, and you get the nuclear power plant, or you don't take our money and you get the nuclear power plant. What do you want? That's kind of what our elected officials now get. Oh, my God. These nuclear people have just got to end it. It's got to stop. And I've heard that the First Nations people believe that the outsiders are going to come back. It's up to us, folks. They are not coming. For fuck's sake, they're not coming. We cannot allow these fucking idiots. People who live in Republican states. Today is Thursday night, the night before the inauguration. And that means next week they're going to be, mm, we want to vote. Every Republican, we've got to get two or three Republicans to vote no. To say, you know what, Trump, give us educated neoliberals. We're with you on the general plan. Okay, we get it. We want private industry to run everything. But let's get some people who understand the fucking concepts of what we're talking about. Rick Perry, who got a Bachelor's of Arts degree in animal science to run the Department of the Energy. That is who you think is a good idea? As much as you hate it, which I agree I hate it, you, we need somebody who fucking understands how to read a balance sheet. <laughs> Incomprehensible. And he was a failure as a governor. So no. And Republicans are required to say no if we're going to get a better person. And we'll get a better person that they want. And maybe, who the fuck knows? Maybe their neoliberal ideas could fucking work if they had somebody really smart to make it work and come up with a real plan. This is the problem. These fuckers never really spend the fucking money. They're too tight. They're just fucking hypocrites. Oh, my gosh. That's not why I made this video. <laughs> I made this video because, for goodness sakes, love is greater than fear. Check this out. See what this says? Whatever you think you can do or believe you can do, begin it. Action has magic, grace, and power in it. That's a quote I read when I was reading that book. I don't remember the book. Bad, bad, bad for me to not have 
told you what book it was, but I saw it. When I was younger and I was reading all these books, I would like, ah, write down the things that stuck out in my head. Like this. This came from a book also. I love this. It is my divine right to change my life. This is our mantra, folks. It is my divine right to change my life. It is my divine right to change my life. It is my divine right to change my life. It is my divine right to change my life. It is my divine right to change my life. Their paradigm is not our paradigm. Eyes to the sky is, Glenn Woodford says, and I love you, Glenn, man. Well, thank you, Thomas Ackerman. You know what? Thank you, Kevin Blanche, for, like, challenging me and making me be real. And thank you, Eric Jordan, for all the millions of hours. You, I mean, like, I don't know how you did what you built on the Post-Ignorance Project, but I hope it comes back as you want it to come. And I actually really hope the Post-Ignorance Project really becomes an organization that can bring people together. That was why I supported the Post-Ignorance Project. So did Tom Ackerman. We want it as an organization where people can come together without proprietary gain, so to speak. That's what I attempt to make the Age of Vision radio show be. I do know this. Love is greater than fear. And we're here for love. Our planet is here for love. That's our only... That is our... If we actually just act in love all the time, if we decide that we are going to love ourselves and love everything about ourselves, everything we think that people don't like and everything that we don't like, you know, the thing is, it's that judgment, isn't it? I think we need to really understand... This is the deal about the Trump nation. Trump is super insecure. That's why he can't take criticism. He goes right to Twitter. It is demeaning the office of the presidency and himself. Is missing so much opportunities, just like every fucking abuser. As a child abuse thriver, I will tell you what, like, our parents missed out on the personal growth that they could have. If they do not move forward. And Trump has an opportunity to move forward. I mean seriously fucking he can pivot. He could pivot people and himself. He can become a better person. That's the one thing Obama said. Being the president and making him a better person. Although I have no fucking idea how he can like say he's a better person. When he deported more people. He bombed more people. We now have like three bombs going off an hour on average by drone. The fuck? At the option of him, he could have stopped that and said, no, we're not going to fucking drone anybody. Fuck you, generals. No, we're not doing it. We're not killing people who are innocent. We're not going to kill people. Just like when scientists like people die, maybe that's why. Because he realizes life, fucking human life doesn't matter. That thing that I read from John Goffman in the, uh, before the 1920s, the 20s and before, they were testing all kinds of children with radon. And since they discovered the, uh, what's it called, the road to gen, they have been giving babies. If you got born, you got tested with radioactive contamination at the turn of the century. I mean, this is maybe why, like, the elderly population is dying of cancer. As Dr. Caldecott told us, the latency period is four to eighty years. Four years to eight zero, folks. Here I go again. I'm in eighteen minutes, man. Can you tell I'm under anxiety about this? <laughs> I'm gonna post this anyways because you know what? I think I'm not the only person. And I think we need to have reasonable voices. Um their paradigm is not our paradigm. We can stop the war profiteering. And it will stop itself because the only thing that matters is love. And the universe is only going to support love. So the quicker we get the love revolution going on, the faster, the better. <laughs> That's what I say.
can't put this up.